Good evening and welcome to tonight's flipped classroom video. In class you have been talking about decomposing numbers which means breaking numbers apart into tens and ones. Tonight I'm going to have some students show you ways that they decomposed numbers. You need to decide who showed the number using the correct tens and ones. Let's get started. First, I asked Mike to show me the number 65. Mike pulled out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens rods and 1, 2, 3 ones. Did Mike show the number 65 correctly? No, he did not. Mike showed me the number 53. Next, I asked Pam to show me the number 61. Pam pulled out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths and 1, 1. Did Pam show the number 61 correctly? Yes, she did. Pam knows that the number 61 is made up of 6 tenths and 1, 1. So when she made her picture for this number, she pulled out the correct amount of tens and ones. Next, I asked Jill to show me the number 92. Jill pulled out one, two tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. Did Jill make the number 92 correctly? No, she did not. Jill made the number 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I asked Jill to make the number 92 and instead she made the number 29. What mistake did Jill make? If you said that Jill mixed up the tens place and the ones place, you are correct. If I asked you to explain the mistake that Jill made with words, you might write, the mistake Jill made was that she did two tens and nine ones instead of nine ones and two tens. Tomorrow in class, you will be asked to write sentences explaining the mistakes that were made. If the student made the number correctly, like Pam did, you wouldn't have to explain the mistake. Let's look at these two pictures. I asked Dan and Jen to make the number 48. Dan made the number 48 using 1, 2, 3, 4 tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones. Jen made the number 48 using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones. Dan and Jen both have the ones place correct because they both have 8 ones. They both do not have the tens place correct. Which student has the tens place correct? That's right, Dan has four tens and the number 48 is made with four tens. Jen made a small counting mistake when she was pulling down her tens and instead of only putting four tens, she put five tens. 
you need to be a careful counter when you're decomposing numbers so that the, you use the correct amount of tens and ones. So on this slide, I could say that Dan showed the number 48 correctly. And I could say that Jen's mistake was that she used an extra 10. Time for your homework question. Pull out your homework sheet. Your question should say, who counted 52 correctly? I asked two of your favorite Frozen characters to show me the number 52. Olaf showed the number 52 this way, and Sven showed the number 52 this way. Compare Olaf and Sven's work. Who made 52 correctly? Write the character's name on your homework sheet. We'll see if you picked the correct character tomorrow, and we will also discuss the mistake that the character who did not make 52 correctly made. See you then!